Hello, I'm Eric Day with Coringo. I'm going to demonstrate the Castor storage cluster and provide an overview of its features. The Castor content storage software is designed to store and manage unstructured data, also known as fixed content. This includes office documents, email, pictures, audio, video, medical images, and business records. Castor provides organizations with affordable clustered storage that is high performance, scalable, and has long-term reliability. Castor delivers content at the speed of primary storage and is secure and cost-effective enough to archive content for the duration of its useful life. Castor runs on standard x86 server hardware, allowing customers to choose a mix of hardware that fits with their purchasing preferences or specific design requirements. Castor is based on a content addressable storage architecture. As such, Castor provides a flat address space instead of employing traditional and brittle file system path names or physical addresses for accessing content. By using universal unique identifiers, or UUIDs, a Castor storage cluster can scale to billions of objects and petabytes of storage capacity while maintaining high performance and simplifying the front end client's job of tracking and accessing their stored content. The easiest way to understand Castor's UUIDs and storage methodology is with the analogy of a parking valet. When you drop off your car to have it parked, you are issued a claim ticket with a unique tracking number on it. When you are ready to pick up your car, you simply provide the claim ticket to the valet who then retrieves your car for you. You don't care where your car is parked or even if it was moved, how long it was stored, as long as it is returned to you in the same condition as when you dropped it off. Castor is like a valet for your digital content. Castor protects against data loss by using content replication. Castor creates exact replicas or copies of each file stored in the cluster. Each replica is stored on a different node within the cluster to ensure that if a node fails, another replica will always be accessible. Content can also be replicated to remote clusters for disaster recovery and business continuance purposes. I'm going to show Castor running on some off-the-shelf one-use servers with JBOD disks. I will be demonstrating the web management console that is built into every Castor node and the HTTP interface to the core Castor storage operations. I will also show how a new node is added to the cluster by simply booting it and allowing the existing nodes to discover it. Lastly, I will demonstrate the failure recovery features of Castor and how the loss of a disk or even an entire node is automatically handled and cured by Castor without ever needing a system administrator to intervene.